welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a gentle 25 minute Hatha yoga flow. You don't need any props, just a mat, somewhere comfortable and quiet. So let's find our comfortable seated and go ahead and get started. Relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears, we're going to close the eyes and take 10 deep breaths. Just find your long spine to the tip of the crown and allow your sit bones to sink into the mat. Just feel rooted, start to connect your breath. As you inhale, feel the belly expanding out. As you exhale, feel the belly pull back to the spine. Just do five more breaths. Just allowing the facial muscles to stay relaxed and soft. Ready, slowly bringing hands into prayer in front of the heart space. So we're just grateful for this time to practice self-care. Go ahead and gently open the eyes, reaching the arms up overhead, taking the gaze to the thumb. Keep the shoulders soft and relax on an exhale, releasing hands alongside, taking chin to chest. Inhale, reach it up, bring the palms to touching. Exhale, relax, take chin to chest. Do four more. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And one more deep breath. And exhale, relax it down. Let's just take hands to the base of your spine, interlace, index finger mudra. I'm just going to soften the chin to chest and take it gently over to your right shoulder. Keep the chin low, rotate it over to the left side. One more and an exhale, rotate over, deepest breath. And relaxing back to left side. Releasing, bringing hands onto the knees, rubbing it onto the thighs. And slowly bring your feet into butterfly. Taking hold of your ankles or interlace fingers underneath your toes. And just rock a little bit side to side, make sure the sit bones are even. Relaxing shoulders. Let's take a deep breath in. As we exhale, lowering the body down only as far as you feel comfortable. When you feel that's as far as you can soften, relax your head down towards your mat, softening all the way. We're going to hold for four more breaths. With every exhale, you're just wanting to soften and melt just that little bit further. On an inhale, tucking in the chin, slowly roll the body up. Let's just take a gentle full circle with the head without overextending your neck all the way around and changing direction. All the way around. So we're going to go ahead and bring that left leg in, crossing the right leg over. Once you're comfortable here, try and get both sit bones as close to the mat as you can. Let's take the hands back to the base of your spine, interlace index finger mudra, and slowly rotate that chin up high. As you exhale, take chin to chest. Inhale, take the chin up. Exhale, chin to chest. Release the hands and just hugging that right knee in towards your chest. Take the chin over to right shoulder and over to left side. And gently just bringing the feet back to butterfly, shake it out. And we're going to switch sides, crossing it over, bringing left leg. And just adjust your sit bones. Try and get them as even as you can. On an inhale, taking hands to the base, interlace index finger mudra. 
slowly rotate the chin up high. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, take the chin up. Exhale, chin to chest. Relax and bring the feet back to butterfly. Shake it out. All right, let's go ahead and extend the legs out long. Make sure your step bones are even. On an inhale, reach both arms up high. Spread the fingers as wide apart as you can, feeling that into the center of your palm. And on an exhale, full forward fold. So we're reaching for the toes, but maybe the hands go to the knees or shin bones. Wherever you are, that's okay. Relax your head down. Keep the shoulders back away from the ears. Three more breaths. When you're ready on an inhale, slowly bring the body up. And bringing both feet to the mat, hands to the base of your spine, keeping a long spine. Gently windshield wipe the knees side to side. And just relaxing the hips either way. I'm going to gently swing those knees over and find your flat back tabletop. Spreading the fingers, pressing down into the palms, allowing enough space between your knees. And when you take the gaze through, we want to stack the feet so we're unable to see them. Preparing for cat and cow. So on an inhale, taking the chin up high, arching the base of your spine. As you exhale, round, pull the belly in, tuck the chin to chest. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. On an inhale, find your flat back, tuck your toes. And as you exhale, lifting up, downward facing dog. You can gently just shake your head out, make sure there's no stress on the back of the neck. And if your feet are slightly off the mat, slowly just begin pushing one heel down at a time. Your first downward facing dog. On an inhale, we're going to step that right foot through, coming up, find a warrior two, squaring off your back foot. Being mindful, just adjusting that right foot where you need, having a raised arch in the front foot, softening that knee. Taking gaze over the front middle finger, keep the shoulders soft. Exhale, extend at side angle. So feeling rib cage, hip bone, space in between. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale. We're going to straighten into that right leg. Perhaps you need to just adjust your feet slightly if that's more comfortable. Shifting the body over and coming into triangle pose. You might want to place the hand onto the shin or if you do make it all the way to the mat. We're aiming to take the gaze up to the thumb. Three more breaths. Bending into your right knee, find your warrior two. And let's exhale, cartwheel both hands to the mat. Inhale to plank pose. Now you can take a chaturanga or you can take your knees, chin and chest to the mat. If you are going to practice chaturanga, keeping your elbows tucked into your sides, begin to lower down. On an inhale, upward dog. Tuck toes, exhale, downward facing. Shake out the head. Pressing down into the palms, send those hips up high. Inhale, 
Inhale, stepping left foot through, coming up, warrior two. Softening, raised arch in that left foot. Taking gaze over the front little finger. Shoulders relaxed. On an exhale, extended side angle, reaching fingertips over, opening up the ribs, allowing that to travel all the way to the fingertips, reaching over as much as you can. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga or knees, chin and chest. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step that right foot through and bring the left knee down to the mat. Untuck the toes. Keeping left hand pressed down, reach up to the sky with the right arm. If you want to take it a little deeper, you can tuck your toes and lift up into a runner's lunge. Exhale, release right hand to the mat. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, left foot steps through, right knee to the mat, untuck toes. Pressing down with that right hand, reach up to the sky with the left arm. And to take it deeper, tuck the toes, lift up, runner's lunge. Exhale, release hands to the mat. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Now let's stay down on the mat. And on an inhale, we're going to lift up to cobra. So squeezing shoulder blades together. Let's take it deeper. We lift hands and feet off the mat as well. So you want to keep the gaze at your mat, back of the neck long. And exhale, coming down. Let's tuck the toes on an inhale, find your plank pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's inhale, step or hop both feet to the front of your mat. And exhale, full forward fold. So if you need to bend knees here, if your hamstrings are tight, you can bend your knees. And take hold of either side of your elbows and just gently rock side to side. And take it deeper, taking hands behind the calves. I'd like a deeper stretch. Or even take your palms and place them underneath your feet. Just allowing that fresh blood to the face. Any tension you might be holding on either side of the spine to just soften. On an exhale, gently relaxing hands back, bending knees, tucking the chin, roll up all the way to standing. Once we're all the way, reach those arms up overhead, bringing palms to touching, taking the gaze up high. Exhale through heart center. Inhale, scoop it up. Exhale. 
one more inhale. We're going to work into balance now with the tree pose. Spreading the toes and getting rooted into that supporting foot, pulling the weight up off the knee, activating your quad. Taking the right leg either below or above the knee, but we want to avoid putting pressure on the kneecap. So if your foot's all the way up, it can be here, or if you prefer it to be on your carpet, just avoid your knee. So let's bring it up, keep the gaze fixed on one thing in front of you, hands in prayer. Strong core. When you're ready, let's grow the branches, reaching up to the sky, open up. Let's hold here for five breaths, bringing index finger to touch the thumb. Reach both arms up overhead. Exhale, bringing hands down through prayer. And let's release that foot with control, extending it out. Slowly lower to the mat, shake it up. Moving to left side, spread the toes, get rooted into your supporting foot. Bring that foot up. Above or below the knee, hands in prayer. Strong core, eyes fixed on one thing in front of you. When you're ready, grow the branches, reach up. Open up, index finger to touch the thumb. Five breaths. that leg with control, extending it out, slowly lower down, shake it out, release hands alongside. Let's come to stand at the front of your mat, inhale, reach up, exhale, pull forward, inhale, lift halfway, flatten the back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, place the hands, step or float back, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And slowly on your next inhale, bringing the knees down to the mat, untuck toes, finding your flat back, tabletop. On an inhale, reach that right arm up to the sky. As you exhale, thread it through, bringing that cheek down all the way to the mat. And then just adjusting your left hand wherever you need it so you're comfortable. You can also take it deeper if you'd like to extend that leg out to the side. Two more. Inhale, bringing that leg in, slowly come back, flat back, tabletop. Take an exhale here. On your next inhale, reach that left arm up high. As you exhale, thread it through. And adjusting the right hand so you're comfortable to take it deeper, extending that leg out to the side. Slowly bring it in, come back up, take an exhale here. And tuck your toes. When you're ready, lift up, downward facing down. On an inhale, step or hop both feet to the front of your mat. And then slowly lower that tailbone all the way down. You're trying to sit back without pulling, bringing hands back to the base of your spine, 
And gently just windshield wipe the knees side to side. Place both feet to the mat and slowly come down one vertebra at a time. So keeping activated in those tummy muscles. And once you're all the way down, let's hug the knees to chest. Keeping the chin tucked in so the back of your neck is nice and long. Hug the knees into the chest. Take a little rock side to side. So we're going to work into a shoulder stand. You're welcome to skip it and just take a bridge pose. If you are going to practice shoulder stand, make sure that your chin is tucked in, shoulders are back. Take a little rock with the knees to chest, supporting the base of your spine, tucking your elbows. And either staying here in a supported shoulder stand or you can also release your hands to the mat. Let's stay here for five breaths. On an exhale, gently releasing, bending the knees, find your plow pose. And if your feet do reach all the way to the back, you can take it a little deeper. Slowly bending into the knees on either side of the ears, begin to roll down gently one vertebra at a time. And hug the knees into chest. Always coming in and out of inversions with control. Be mindful of your spine. And let's find our happy baby. Taking the inside of the feet or noosing your big toe with your index finger. Once you're here, take a little rock side to side. If you want to take this posture deeper, you can extend one leg at a time or both legs. And let's hug both knees again in and invite that forehead up to meet the knees. Squeeze it out. Slowly relax it down. Extend the left leg out long and hug the right knee into the chest. And exhale, spinal twist. So we're taking that knee over to left side as we do that, taking the chin towards the right shoulder. And you can lift this right arm up if that's a deeper stretch for you, or leave it on the mat. Inhale, slowly come up, extend right leg out long, and bring the left knee into the chest, squeeze it in. Exhale, spinal twist, taking it over to right side, reversing the gaze towards the left shoulder and adjusting your arm where it's comfortable. Inhale, slowly come back up. We're going to extend both legs up high and just shake them out. Shake out the feet, the toes, calves and quads. And let's just point and flex into those feet. Make circles with the ankles. And reverse direction. And bring both feet to the mat. Extending arms overhead. Stretch it out from the fingertips. Relax arms alongside. Gently begin to extend the legs, finding our Shavasana, our resting pose. So make sure wherever you are, you're comfortable, palms facing up, toes relaxed. And just move your jaw around. Make sure nothing's clenched or tight. 
And as you exhale, let your spine just sink and relax into the mat. Let all the muscles soften, the kneecaps soften. Even let the eyelids soften. When you're ready, gently begin to wiggle the toes, brushing fingertips with the tip of the thumb, and stretching arms out overhead, pointing to your feet. As we bring the knees in, gently rolling comfortably onto your right side. slowly bringing the body back up into your comfortable seated bringing hands into prayer in front of the heart space let's take a deep breath in through the nose biggest breath out through the mouth bring thumbs to the forehead may we always have mindful thoughts thumbs to the mouth mindful words and thumbs to the heart space mindful actions of love and kindness namaste